Wednesday, June 13th, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're back for yet some more strange wildlife observations. We're here at the website, MrMBB333.com. We keep track of these unusual encounters, sometimes personal encounters by, by people, and some news stories that show up from time to time that are very unique, much like in today's video, as you'll see here in just a minute. But first, I wanted to show you I've got the map of the United States updated of the reports that I received today, one from Modesto, California, and one from Kansas City, Missouri. The link to the website is below in the description box, MrMBB333.com. It's a good little hub for information. Real quick, I want to talk about the website. The tabs that you see here on the left, and in fact, all of the tabs through the the center of the page here are real-time data, real-time lightning, real-time seismographs, real-time geoelectric map. You have an interactive weather map feature here that takes you to the uh, current radar conditions over the U.S., ionosphere, real-time data. All of these here on the right, solar wind, Earth's vitals, geomagnetic K-index, X-ray solar flares, real-time data, Schumann resonance, real-time data. Up here at the top, you see a tab called Daily Report News Alerts. That's updated at least once a day, sometimes multiple times a day, with unique news stories from all around the world. And occasionally, you will find a scientific white paper. And what that is, that's a generally a new scientific discovery that hasn't uh, made it to the mainstream yet. Sometimes it makes it here first. It just depends. But anyway, bookmark the site, check it out uh, from time to time. Like I said earlier, it's a good little hub for real-time data and uh, information in general. And also, don't forget to check out the Sky Phenomenon Photo Gallery, some of the best pictures in the world right there in that little gallery. Now, back to the wildlife observations. This first one, I've never heard of. And the people that witnessed it were uh, equally as shocked. This comes out of Kansas City, Missouri. June 11th is the date of the story. It occurred on June 10th, which would have been a Sunday. And just for perspective purposes, I want to take you there on Google Earth here in just a second. But what happened? Metro shoppers witnessed two deer perish after jumping off of a Trader Joe's roof at a shopping center. Unbelievable. So here's the shopping center on Google Earth. And, and you can see this is a densely populated urban area. This is a suburb of Kansas City, Missouri. This is the shopping mall. And you can see it's deep in town. I mean, you've got to go 10 miles at least in any direction to get in any type of rural setting. How these deer wandered all the way through town in broad daylight to boot, because this uh, occurred at 5 p.m. So it was broad daylight. But I want to play the news story of the report, and he interviews one of the witnesses that saw the deer jump from the roof of this uh, building. And again, I want to show you, it was right here at the corner of this building here, right here, Trader Joe's. The witnesses were right here in these parking lots. And one of the witnesses was right over here, and she was actually kind of shaken after she saw it. She said she sat in her car for about eight minutes and just just sat there and froze you know she couldn't believe what she had just saw uh, very very unusual event so I'm gonna play the news report right now yeah it's unclear how the deer got on top of Trader Joe's if I had to take a guess it was likely the driveway that runs along Target up to AMC and then on top of Trader Joe's it's an odd story but one witness who saw it all happen says it gave her nightmares it was right off that far edge. You see where that corner comes out? Jessica Palin says she saw the craziest thing ever Sunday afternoon while shopping at Trader Joe's at the Ward Parkway Shopping Center. It was horrific to watch. She had just gotten back into her car when she noticed something fall from above the store. They just, I guess, panicked and jumped. Two deer, frantically looking for an escape, jumped over a five-foot wall on top of the store and landed in the parking lot two stories below. A spokesman for the shopping center says someone opened a door where the deer were hanging out and likely startled them. 
They were just flaring around, but they couldn't move, and it was just awful. Palin says the 30 or so people who were outside at the time couldn't believe what they had just witnessed. Oh my gosh, I mean, it was complete shock for everyone, and no one moved. For I mean, I've sat there for probably a good eight minutes in my car, just like, couldn't move, and everybody else was just like that. Security guards closed off the area while they waited for animal control. No one could help them. That was the worst thing is because nobody knows what to do in that situation. I mean, they're wild animals. You no one was hurt, no damages reported, but one of the deer died. The other was later put down. Deer are flying out, you know, jumping off roofs and dying? Like, that doesn't happen. It's an... Normally, that doesn't happen. And that's what's so surprising about this story. It's very, very odd. And I want to take you back to uh, the location here in just a second, but the story basically explains and it talks about the young lady that was interviewed, that it was a complete shock for everyone and no one moved because they really, in, in the literal sense, couldn't believe what they'd seen and they just froze. So back to the location in Kansas City, Missouri, and we're going to take a look at the area where this occurred. The deer somehow strolled up to the top of this building. They were right here, and this is where they jumped. They jumped from right there. That's Trader Joe's, but here's how they got up there. Okay, see this little ramp along the side of the building here that goes up, over, and around, and they made their way over to here. But here's what's odd. They did this in broad daylight, and they had to have came from, like I said, let me show you just a, a brief measurement here in this looks like the closest direction to any type of rural setting. Let's measure to here and just see how far it is in miles from here to there. 7.3 miles. So they had to have walked through town for quite some time. And once again, I want to emphasize that occurred in broad daylight. Unbelievable story out of Kansas City. Missouri, and that occurred on Sunday, June 10th. This next story, I want to say, occurred on Sunday, June 10th, as well as it's being reported on June the 11th. So a lot of things going on on June the 10th, but this story here comes out of, and let me take you to the location for perspective purposes. This time, we are over on the west coast of the United States near Modesto, California, in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains. We are right here in a location known as Lake McClure, right here in this area. Gentleman's out here on his boat getting ready for a fishing tournament on Sunday, June 10th, when he sees something in the water that he didn't recognize at first. Then the next thing you know, he does recognize what this thing is, and he couldn't believe it was out in the water swimming faster than most humans can swim. In fact, he was saying he was swimming at an Olympic pace. Unbelievable. Let me read the first paragraph here from Modesto, California. As he headed out onto California's Lake McClure for a fishing tournament, James Horton saw an animal swimming rapidly through the water. In the early morning light, he assumed it was just a deer. But as his boat drew near to the creature, he was shocked to see a large mountain lion. And he goes on to say it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience as he spent many, many days out on this lake fishing. First time he'd ever seen a mountain lion out there swimming faster than most humans can swim. Almost like they have an aquatic side. Um, and I didn't know that they were uh, avid swimmers either. But we've seen elephants taking a shot at it this year. I um, mean, the past couple of months, elephants, uh, deer, now mountain lions and camels. So quite interesting indeed. Um, and that's from Modesto, California, mountain lion swimming in Lake McClure. This next video comes out of the uh, Caribbean, actually Bahama, Grand Bahama, Coral Beach. And in this video, you'll see a lot of sea creatures washed up on the shore. And this happens from time to time, but not so much in this area. And the people that were reporting were very surprised to see two eels among the fish that were scattered along the beach for what looked like a couple hundred yards. 
but they were very surprised by the presence of these eagles. They seemed to be healthy and they had no idea how they ended up there. This next picture is from the Caribbean, as I mentioned just a minute ago, um, of a giant sea turtle. This is known as a leatherneck. And I googled leatherneck turtles, giant turtles. I was looking for a big one. And I found some big ones, but I didn't find any quite as big as this. And this is in a video that's been circulating around on Facebook. I just took a screenshot of it. The, the links to all these you can find below in the description box. But that is an enormous creature, much bigger than the ones that I found while Googling looking for a giant sea turtle. So huge turtle off the coast of Caribbean. Um, let's see, I've showed you the picture of the mountain lion. I've got another thing I wanted to share with you. Oh, a moose that was spotted in... Alaska. He looked like he was trying out for the Kentucky Derby. As you'll see um, in the video, he's running down this highway through an intersection, literally like a, 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 a thoroughbred horse, trying out for the Kentucky Derby. Unbelievably, it was almost kind of a funny video the way he was running through town, but Again, you know, he's out in the middle of the road, and I know it's probably not uncommon for this area, but the people that witnessed it, they seem to be kind of surprised. And like the other videos, you can find the link below in the description box. But we've got mountain lions swimming in Lake McClure, giant sea turtles off the coast of the Caribbean, and we've got deer unfortunately jumping off the top of shopping malls in Kansas City, Missouri. Unbelievable. Thanks for watching guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.